I'll recognize the Congresswoman from North Carolina, Ms. Fox, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it has been a year since Joe Biden took office and the southern border has all but collapsed. A year has passed and he still cannot find the elusive root cause of his self-inflicted border crisis. Since he's clearly having some trouble finding the cause, I'll save him some time. Joe Biden is the root cause of the border crisis. The number of illegal crossings at the border has escalated at a faster rate under him than at any time in recent history. Since Joe Biden took office, nearly two million illegal immigrants have been apprehended at the southern border. But wait, there's more. More illegal immigrants have crossed the southern border in the last three months than in all fiscal year 2020. And now we've learned that illegals are being funneled to cities across the United States in the dead of night. That's right, while Americans are asleep, this administration is trying to cover up its own failures. Some of these illegals are known to have criminal records, and yet they're being given a free pass. Across the world, people are watching this unfold. Across the world, people are getting the message that you can waltz into this country illegally with no consequences. Consider the fact that people from 160 different countries are coming to the southern border. It's clear that the message is the wrong one to be sending. In December, a Saudi Arabian national with ties to known Yemeni terrorist was arrested after he crossed the border wearing a fake paramedic uniform. If he were released into the United States, the consequences would have been disastrous. Mr. Speaker, instead of securing the southern border and protecting the integrity of our national security, this administration has doubled down on its own failures. Because of this worsening crisis, every state has now become a border state. Border security is national security. And thanks to Joe Biden and congressional Democrats, open border policies, America has neither. I yield back, Mr. Speaker. Gentlewoman yields back. The chair now.